We are KEXP. This is The Morning Show. The true loves are in the studios live here on The Morning Show. Take it away, fellas. got this one more true loves kxp Uh-huh. 
The True Love's live here on The Morning Show, KEXP, and my first question is, can you come here every Friday and play live? Is that... Does it have to be at, uh, cool, yeah, it's got to be early. early. Yeah, yeah, you got to be early. Can get you, back to you, about that? you can stay the night. There's a lot of room. That would help. If, if you have a cot, that would be great. <laughs> You're in the green room. There's, it's I know. Somewhat there was a washer and dryer there, too, so <laughs> I could stay for a, a while. <laughs> the True Loves are here, and uh, fellas, uh, if you're not the best live band here in this, in this town, I don't know who is. It's just a pleasure to see you guys live. I've seen you a number of times. Um, over the over the years, really, it's been a few years. And, oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, every time you bring it, and I had a thought when you're when you're playing live and people aren't moving, if that's ever happened, um, and it could in Seattle, I suppose. Right. Does it challenge you more? Does it, do you see it, or do you do you want to play harder? Do you want to play fast? Do, do you just not? Does it not phase you? It doesn't really phase it too much because I believe that like maybe they just want to listen yeah. instead of dance, you know, which is. Just as groovy as anything, so yeah. I like that. Uh, famous last words: the album on an all instrumental record. Which, yes. Uh, who gets credit for that? That's. Uh... Uh, well, Jason came up with the the title. I mean, that was from between you had. Yeah. But, yeah. I always wonder about an instrumental record in, in titles of songs. Like it's not in the lyrics. Where do you get the? Where do the titles come from for you? I have no idea. The drummer. It, they, our they, drummer, most likely, he comes up with a fun title. So yeah, we do rehearsals, and then we get the recordings of it back. And I'm, you know, it's like one in the morning, and I'm sitting there listening to it. And whatever comes to my, <laughs> whatever comes to mind first is usually what the title. So, so what? What headspace are you in for, Mary Pop Poppins? Uh, that's a great title. That's all Jimmy, right? Is that? I didn't come no, up with that. that. My, no, he came up that with that my, title. I'm just, that my, I'm, I did, that's my sleep deprived, 1.30 in the morning brain, whatever that is. So. <laughs> I love it. The new album is one of the best of the year. Famous last words, name of it. You've been hearing it a ton here at KEXP. Uh, I have down, you have a show coming up on November 10th, right? Yes, Tractor. at the Tractor Got with great. the Country Lips. Yeah. Well, nice. Great place to see you guys play live. And um, uh, I wanted to ask you, I read uh, you had become friends with the, the Dap Kings uh, over the oh, years a little man. bit. and. Oh. It's been a lot of loss in that camp. Yes. As of late, can you can you talk about uh, those guys and and the loss of, of Sharon and Charles? Wow. And um, wow. It's it's almost hard to say. You know, like I mean, I got to know them. You know, starting off as a fan and then being able to, you know, talk to them and talk about how much I appreciate their music mm -hmm. and what have you. But. I mean, Sharon, man, I mean, words can't even explain like that. You know, I, I'm i admit, I'm going to say this live on air. I had a crush on her. <laughs> yes, I did. And yes, I no had a huge shocked. crush. <laughs> and she was just like, I would consider her the hardest working woman in show business, you know? And like, you know, I got a chance to actually sit in with them at the Moore Theater yeah. or her last show and stuff and actually found out it was a surprise she had but I mean that and Charles Bradley I mean that's how some of us met like I ran I guess David I saw you there at, we the, both at the Charles Bradley show. at the Charles Bradley show and so I mean the screaming ego soul and I mean there's just I can't even put it into words just how great they were but I will say this that um they really helped for a person like myself not be so shy about the music that I love to play you right. know and stuff and you know and stuff like that and so I mean this came along you know and I mean because of them she made it possible with regardless you know regards to age and all that right. and you know in the industry how it is but she defied all that so you know I, I mean every show that we do you know it's like you know it's always in dedication you know and stuff like that so yeah. She's amazing. Could right. I could I say something? Too? Yeah. Um, I think too, because uh, that particular that family over there, mm -hmm. uh, um, they've had they've been through a lot of struggles. You know, these are the latest two huge blows to that entire family, um, but they just keep going. You know, no matter how difficult it's been for them, uh, they just keep persevering, keep making records, keep making music, and making it happen. Mm. You know, every single one of those guys that I've ever met, um, and uh, and Sandra and Star too, uh, they're they're uh, her backup singers and her friends. Um, you know, they just have such good attitudes, you know, they're just good people with great attitudes and they just keep it positive and keep forward thinking and no matter what happens. So they're just, they're very inspirational. Yeah. I was going to say, they must inspire you guys a lot. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. definitely. Yeah. 
Well, you can't replace those artists. No, and it's interesting no, no, no. that they came uh, kind of into our own or into our, a lot of our worlds later in their lives mm-hmm. as, as they got older. Yet there are, feels like our generation of soul singers who, mm-hmm. who passed. And, and uh, it's great that this music continues on. And uh, it's when you guys make your records, when you sit down for what you created here, when did that start? When did you, are these songs that were, you've had with you for a while? Are they, are they newer? Are they... Uh, is it a collection of, of years of, of writing music, or do you get it on one short burst? You know what? It could happen at any time. It's yeah. like, you know, David could, you know, kick off a beat, or, you know, Brian has something, or the horns have something, or there's something I'm sitting around with, you know, and I'm like, eh, you know, kind of <laughs> like, Brian, you always say it, too, where we're like, okay, whatever my hand lands on, that's what it's going to be, you know, and then who knows what it might turn out to be. You know, some stuff is from the past um, that's been sitting in the can for a while. Some stuff is brand new. Uh, Jason's got, you know, famous last words. You know, Brian's got shambling. All those songs, you know, you never know where it's going to come from. But it's just like at the end of the day, I kind of look at it like we just want to make records we want to hear, you know, and hope people enjoy yeah, it sounds really collaborative when yeah. you come in and, and right. Do you sit down and is it a plan? We're making songs today, or is it? Does it come out of rehearsal? Does it come out? Kind of both. Yeah. You got a mic? Like Jason, Grab a t- mic. Uh, Talk it to your oh, mic. Like uh, Jason with famous last words. You I mean he brought this kind of stripped down version to yeah. rehearsal, and I was like, check this out. What do you think? Let's do something with this. So, and then there are other times that. You know, it's just in the rehearsal spot, kind of like Jimmy said, where Brian's just like, let's start right here. <laughs> I love it. Well, the songs you have for this new record are just great. Uh, beginning to end, you know, as a DJ here especially, you just pick a track. Many mornings it's been that. Well, I'll just go with that one. I like that title. I'm going with that one. <laughs> so it works, man. It works. Good job. Uh, the True Loves are here live here at KEXP, and they're going to be at the tractor. Highly recommend that. What else is in, in the works for you guys? Is there more getting out on the road? Is there writing more songs? I think that's what we're, we're working towards. You All right. Know, I know that, and we got... Well, we got, we're doing New Year's, right, you know. Yeah. We're doing New Year's I would Eve, hope so. You know, and so we're just, we're working towards it. You know, it's just like, you know, whatever happens, happens, you know, and just let it go with the flow. I like it. Know? True Love's live here on the morning show. They got a few more songs for us. And uh, you ready? All right.
KEXP, the true loves live here on the morning show. Man, those horn horns sound really good in this room, I have to say. Sound really good. This, uh, this place was built for bands like yours to play, I think. In this room, we're able to capture it. So thank you for coming in this morning again. The True Loves have a brand new record called Famous Last Words. they got a show coming up on November 10th at the Tractor. And you got one more for us? Am I right? Do you? Yeah, the okay. derp. Yeah. They, and can, and I, can I just say that we would really like we to... We would like one more. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we, we would really like to uh, express our deepest thanks to uh, KXP and uh, everybody here because you guys have just been so supportive of us, but also just the local scene and the uh, music scene internationally. You Thank know. you. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's easy when bands like yours are making music too, I have to say. <laughs> you guys make us look really good. You, you want to do one more? Yeah, we can do one. I, I, I'd like one more. We're <laughs> soloing. Okay. Love it. Nicely done. Right on the spot. Nice work. True loves live here on the morning show. Man, if I'm ever in a car chase, I gotta make sure you're playing. Like, I feel like I should, I feel like I wouldn't be as good at the car chase. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'd, I'd be kind of like just kind of good. But if oh. I put in some, some true loves, I might actually outrun the person chasing me. We, we would give you the edge for sure. You know, yeah, like they wouldn't have the true loves, but I would. And what if they had the Dap Kings? It could be a tie. Oh, I don't man. know. I haven't thought about this. That'd be something. But if you're a music supervisor out there, if you're not contacting the true loves, you're insane. Because this music should be in everything. Please pay them. 
Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they listen. They listen. You're crazy not to. Anyway, oh, the man. True Loves Live Here on the Morning Show. Big thank you to you guys again for coming in so early. And uh, and, and also not just the best uh, live band, but the best dressed band, I have to say. I haven't even oh, thank mentioned you. the suits. Oh, Jeez. this whole thing? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you see them on November 10th at the Tractor and uh, pick up the record Famous Last Words. A big thank you to our team here, as always, for capturing all of this, the audio, the video, and everything. Uh, that goes into these, and especially to our donors and the people who support independent KEXP. Without you, there are no sessions. You, the music would die. So thank you so much, everybody. It's been a great Friday. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. This is KEXP Seattle. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.